Hi guys, I'm Jelly Jelly Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk to you about all of the books I managed to read in May. The first book I managed to read was Long Way Down, which is a standalone book by Jason Reynolds. This is a book all written in verse and I didn't really like it to be honest. My boyfriend bought it for me and it was so sweet because I had my eye on this for super long but I just didn't really get it. I didn't get the ending of this book and the verse didn't really have an impact on me, like the story overall didn't really do anything for me and it was very sad honestly there are also illustrations in here but there are not a lot of them and they don't really do anything for the story like you have these shoes over here and for me it didn't really add anything so this was kind of a disappointing read for me but at least I like the cover. The next book I managed to read was the third and final book in the Chaos Walking trilogy, Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. And I loved it. I rated it four stars and it's probably one of my most favorite conclusions of all time. The first book in this series, The Knife of Never Letting Go, is about a guy called Todd who lives in this village that is only made up of men and they can all hear each other's thoughts. That's the way life has been for them forever. And then Todd walks out of the village and he comes into a part where he can't hear thoughts and he encounters this girl called Viola. He obviously hasn't really seen a girl ever before and he also can't hear her thoughts. That's a common thing with females. No one can hear their thoughts. The whole series is basically about Todd and Viola, their romance and them figuring out everything that is behind this. Why can they hear men's thoughts? Why can't they hear females' thoughts? And a lot of war ensuing. And this third book was an epic conclusion for the villain of this series, Mayor Prentice, which I really, really liked. Everything was super thrilling. The writing style made it that you like wanted to flip the pages the whole time. It all of these three books are super thick but you get through them so quickly and I just really like this series and I cannot believe I waited so long to read the third book. Then I read a novella in this series called Snowscape and I like that one enough. I really like this series so I think I've read almost all the novellas that are there in this series but I don't really know why I keep doing that because I'm not a huge fan of novellas but I guess it was enjoyable enough honestly. I can't really say anything about it because that would be spoilery for the series overall. But yeah, it was enjoyable enough but I am glad that I'm done with this whole series. I'm kind of a completionist in that way I think that I really want to read everything there is in this series otherwise I don't feel like I've finished the whole thing. But yeah, I am finally finished with this whole trilogy. The next book I want to talk about is Pax, which is a middle grade contemporary novel by Sarah Pennypecker. I like this one. I really like the relationship between the fox and the boy because it is about a boy who has to abandon his fox in a, in a forest and then he leaves with his dad to move to his grandfather's place because his dad is joining the war that is talked about in this book. The war stays very very vague, there's not a lot said about it. You get to see both perspectives, you get to see the fox in the forest and the boy trying to get back to his fox because he didn't really want to abandon him, he regrets it. Then something happens and the boy ends up with this lady in her cottage, she's a hermit and you see them interacting with each other. It is very cute, I really like the lady in this book, I, I thought she was very fun, very quirky character. The whole story between the fox and the boy. It was endearing but didn't do enough for me. It wasn't as hard hitting as I expected it to be but I don't know what I expected honestly because middle grade isn't really my thing and this book once again proved that to me. And the last book I read in May was The Hero of Ages, the final installment in the Mistborn trilogy by Brendan Sanderson. This was a month of finishing series and I'm very glad I finished these because it has been forever since I read the first two books in both of these series and The Hero of Ages did not disappoint me. That ending was super realistic. I absolutely absolutely loved it. I would really recommend reading this series. All three books are very, very big books. This one was probably my favorite in the series after the first one. Like in order, it would be the third one, then the first one, then the second one. The second one was kind of boring to me, but the third book really made up for that. And there was a lot of action going on. There was a lot of lost hope. You didn't really see where it could go, honestly, because it all seemed very bleak, but then the ending was super realistic and also kind of surprising so that made up for it. I'm not going to read the rest of the Mistborn saga that Brendan Sanderson wrote but yeah I think this was worth reading it but it's not really my cup of tea to keep reading these big books so I'm just going to leave it at this first trilogy. These were all of the books I managed to read in May. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or what did you read in May? I would love to know. Thanks for watching. Goodbye!